Blog Talk Radio. Live. Worldwide. Deliverance. With your host, Jay Bartlett. For the next few minutes, Jay will be exploring the unknown, the strange, and the supernatural. Ready or not, you are about to experience Deliverance. In a jam-packed meeting hall, we couldn't fit any more people in the in the conference hall. In fact, we had to bring in extra chairs to accommodate all of those arriving into the meeting hall for deliverance and for healing. We're seeing some tremendous moves of the Holy Spirit in our meetings as souls are being set free and supernaturally healed. Not too long ago. In Southern California, the meeting was stunning. I mean, where do I begin? Multitudes of thousands of demons of Buddhism, ancestral worship, and witchcraft were powerfully committed into the abyss in Jesus' name. Legions of demons named Dragon were defeated by King Jesus. Holy Spirit fire filled my hands with intense spiritual fire causing pain, sicknesses, diseases, and demonic spirits to flee. My sacred cross, the cross of deliverance, was utilized by God in a mighty manner. Demons could hardly touch it and were greatly weakened by the cross. Demons were tortured by the cross and were bowing in its presence. Many thousands of evil spirits were defeated by the power of the cross. Many holy angels came into our meeting and assisted me. Hours of angelic intervention, they restrained. They carried bodies up from the ground and they battled me, with me. My Bible was a sword and I have the scriptures in my hands tonight. Behind this microphone, I'm holding the holy holy word of the living God. It was a sword that greatly damaged the powers of darkness. So many screamed in agony as I placed the scriptures upon them. The sword was just too much for them. Jesus appeared to little heart parts and were healed by him. Numerous soul invaders were commanded out in Jesus' name. Numerous generational heart parts were healed by Jesus. Many sicknesses, diseases, and maladies were removed by the power of the living God. And many saints were equipped and were encouraged. Now, this was a a meeting that we held in Pasadena, California, and we'll be back in Pasadena this coming Sunday night, April 25th, I believe. Let me look at my calendar real quick. I think it's April 25th, April 25th, next Sunday, back in Pasadena, the Jesus Church. I would encourage you to get to the meeting. I mean, I could just go on and on about the miracles that we witnessed there in Pasadena. I mean, it's such a blessing to be involved in these powerful, powerful meetings. Now, this meeting was very unique in that we actually encountered some very strange demons, demonic powers that were rooted in Nazism, from the powers of Hitler. And I want to explain what took place as we defeated demons and defeated demons from the Holocaust on today's edition of Deliverance. I'm Jay Bartlett, and I'll be here for the next few minutes exploring the unknown, the strange, and the supernatural. Ready or not, you're about to experience Deliverance.
listening to another thrilling edition of Deliverance with Jay Bartlett. These compelling podcasts are transformative, astounding, and inspiring. Lives are being encouraged, empowered, healed, restored, and liberated. Take a moment and support this global mission with a donation at jbartlettmissions.com. Visit the donate page and consider giving a recurring monthly donation. That's jbartlettmissions.com or call us at 877-483-5519. Thank you for your support to keep this worldwide mission alive. God has bestowed upon this global mission an extraordinary ability to gently guide individuals into the heavenly realms where thousands are encountering the risen Jesus and experiencing numerous heavenly wonders. We have, perhaps, created the world's largest video collection of testimonies of those being caught up into the third heaven and experiencing the joys, the wonders, and the glories of God's heavens. These thrilling videos from around the world demonstrate that God loves and cares for us. Taste of His powers at jbartlettmissions.com Heavenly experiences are for real. Watch and see at jbartlettmissions.com I'm Jay Bartlett. Thank you for just taking a few moments to be with us as we discuss some powerful meetings that that's been taking place. And we'll be back in Pasadena, California this coming Sunday. I would encourage you, April the 25th, I would encourage you to get to the meeting. Now, in my hands, I have some incredible publications, some publications that we have re- recently released to the public, and I would encourage you to get a copy at Amazon.com. Now, I have so many here, but let me just talk about a few. Our newest one, Caught Up Into the Third Heaven. I'm just really excited about this publication, Caught Up Into the Third Heaven, uh, where we have some incredible chapters here dealing with everything from uh, supernatural stories of those being caught up into the heaven. I have a chapter, uh, the chapter six is a Q&A where I actually answer the top 10 questions, as I travel around the world, I get often asked because this ministry is becoming well-known for third heaven encounters. And people often ask, want to ask me, what's involved in, in a third heaven encounter? They want to know more about these heavenly experiences. I answer it in chapter 6. In chapter 7, I actually include a biblical record of third heaven encounters caught up into the third heaven. I would encourage you, if you have an opportunity, to get to Amazon.com and get a hold of Caught Up Into the Third Heaven. Now, another book I have is titled Overcoming the Occult, Volume 1, Acupuncture to Halloween, where I expose and analyze and investigate over 40 occult Rooted movements and phenomena, personalities, devices, and ideologies. I examine, I investigate, I explore, I expose, I overcome by the power of Jesus Christ. I deal with everything from clairvoyance to Halloween, from goblins to apparitions to aliens to the evil eye to ghosts, to demonism, to crystals, to Edgar Cayce, from black magic to automatic handwriting. This is a a must because the occult, my friends, the powers of witchcraft, the powers of the occult are holding billions of people in captivity. And I'm hoping to expose 
the movements, the phenomena, the personalities, the devices, the ideologies of the occult, the kingdom of the occult. In this book called Overcoming the Occult. Now, this is, I think, is a 120, almost 130 page book. I would encourage you to get a hold of this one. One of my favorites, another classic, is Allow Me to Introduce You to the Defeated Devil, an insightful introduction to Satan and his defeat through the cross of Jesus Christ. I, I actually, in this book, I have a chapter, and I was just looking at it just a moment ago. I have a section where I actually chronicle some of the early church's encounters with the devil. Throughout church history, humanity has been assaulted by fallen angel, the devil. It appears in the days of Christ, the devil intensified his assault. However, the early church had its share of encounters with the devil and his demons. And I actually include many accounts the early church had with the devil. I think you'll find it fascinating. I have a uh, chapter on um, gruesome satanic rituals and expose what Satan is doing in human traffic. And, and I share some ex, ex, my encounters with devils. In chapter 12, for example, I have a, a, a chapter titled Exorcism in Haiti. And I have a ch- chapter 17. I encourage people to resist the devil and, how, and some means, and, and I provide some weapons by which you can resist the devil. And I, I think this will be a life changer. It's more than, a two, I think, 220 pages. Yeah, or, or almost nearly 230 pages. Allow me to introduce you to the defeated devil. Another book in my hands is Deeper Mysteries of the Deliverance Ministry, Examining Dissociation, Ancestral Dissociation, and Soul Invasion. I deal with ancestral dissociation, which is you're going to find very little information on this subject. Uh, I speak about the dynamics of human beings concerning dissociation, healing dissociation, healing ancestral slash generational dissociation, ministering to those with ancestral dissociation, and so much more. This is Deeper Mysteries of the Deliverance Ministry. I'm hoping that these books will be of some benefit. There's more than – we've written so many books – Dozens and dozens of books. I have this book on spiritual dynamics of soul slavery and mind control. Uh, the how, the why and how of slow soul slavery. I have a chapter on understanding soul slavery, uh, understanding mind control in our modern day, the various uh, degrees of soul slavery. Chapter 8 is determining if programming is involved or, or mind control. I'm often asked, how do you determine if there's an element of mind control work? There are times when the individual already knows due to their involvement in the occult drugs or a false religious practice. But what about those who are unsure? And I actually give you some steps on how you can determine if programming is involved or mind control is involved in your life. Now, these publications are available at Amazon.com or simply visit us at jbartlettmissions.com. That's jbartlettmissions.com. I'll be right back after this brief intermission. To another thrilling edition of Deliverance with Jay Bartlett. These compelling podcasts are transformative, astounding, and inspiring. Lives are being encouraged, empowered, healed, restored, and liberated. Take a moment and support this global mission with a donation at jbartlettmissions.com. Visit the donate page and consider giving a recurring monthly donation. That's jbartlettmissions.com or call us at 877-483-5519. Thank you for your support to keep this worldwide mission alive. God has bestowed upon this global mission an extraordinary ability to gently guide individuals into the heavenly realms where thousands are encountering the risen Jesus and experiencing numerous heavenly wonders. 
We have, perhaps, created the world's largest video collection of testimonies of those being caught up into the third heaven and experiencing the joys, the wonders, and the glories of God's heavens. These thrilling videos from around the world demonstrate that God loves and cares for us. Taste of His powers at jbartlettmissions.com Heavenly experiences are for real. Watch and see at jbartlettmissions.com Now that service in Pasadena uh, some time back was extraordinary in so many, in so many ways. I mean, it was just a blessing to be involved in this, in these, in these meetings that we've been holding throughout the world. Jesus is truly visiting us in His love and power. Some of the individuals that came was a. A mother and a daughter. They were both deeply impacted by the ministry. They intended the service at the invitation of a friend. They both came and both manifested demons almost simultaneously. They laughed hysterically and mocked me at first. The demons screamed loudly, notifying me they would not be leaving and that they would fight me. So I fought back in the power of Jesus Christ. Do you not understand? I'm a God. I rule nations. I am very, very powerful, the demons of Baal, the demons of Mammon boasted to me. Do you not understand? I have great powers and cannot be defeated. We have been here for thousands of years because of blood sacrifices. During the Holocaust, her ancestors who honored Hitler participated in baby sacrifices. That's what the demons told me. It was horrific. It's interesting. As a Jewish believer, these demons didn't want to look at me and constantly looked away. These ugly, evil spirits were determined to fight. I fought back with some mighty spiritual weapons. I utilized the fire of the living God, the holy angels, the cross, and so many others. And these demons were destroyed, eventually begging me to stop torturing them. We bring sickness, addictions. We hold the lungs, the liver. We bring sickness, fear, insecurity, anxiety, and torment. The demon powers inform me. We also hold her heart. By God's grace, we crush these sicknesses and infirmities. We did it in the name of Jesus Christ. And both of these Ladies, this mother and daughter were set free by the power, from the powers of Jezebel, by the superior power of Jesus Christ. The mother was dramatically healed and set free from the powers of Hitler. Her German ancestors participated in the Nazi party that honored the infamous ruler Adolf Hitler back in the 1930s and 40s. Both experienced deep inner healing as numerous ancestral dissociative heart parts were supernaturally healed. There were a number of heart parts that were present during the Holocaust. Now, these, this was the brokenness of their ancestors that were transferred down the bloodline. Her ancestors never received deliverance or inner healing, so the brokenness was held. Remember, brokenness is Demons traffic within brokenness, and the, and the demons were holding on to the brokenness. And the brokenness was passed down. The brokenness, they, it, they surfaced and spoke to me. The trauma that surfaced was intense and terrible. I mean, they were so deeply traumatized. The complexity of the trauma was astounding. I mean, it's too much to even share in this, this brief podcast. Suffice to say, the little ones, the brokenness was, they were released from the pain and hurt. And guided to Jesus. They were also released from the demons that were present during the Holocaust. They were released from the demons that were present during the Holocaust. 
Think about that for a moment, my friends. Think about what I just said. They had demons that were rooted in the Holocaust. When a genocide takes place, when infanticide takes place, when various kinds of wars and famines, major conflicts and major evil incidents and situations take place here on earth, it draws what? Evil spirits. And evil spirits run rampant without anybody restraining their activity. Thus, the demons are attaching themselves to the brokenness because when there's war, when there's genocide, when there's infanticide and I, rampant idolatry and witchcraft and human and animal sacrifices and, and great amount of evil and abuse and hurt and pain and darkness. When there's darkness, there's demons. The demons, when they're running rampant and not being bound up and not being pushed back or restrained by the superior powers of Jesus Christ, the demons will invade. Because as a result of these evil situations and evil events and dark, dark events that take place, people, people's hearts break. There's a great amount of brokenness and, and, and mental pain, emotional pain, and trauma, and hurt. Well, demons traffic in human suffering, and demons will invade in mass numbers, and they'll take that brokenness. And they'll pass through the generations, often undetected. You may have some demons from the Holocaust, or maybe you have demons from some, from some past event, historical event of a war, famine, genocide. Maybe there was a, a period of time your ancestors were involved in some great amount of evil or in the midst of great amount of evil, a war, a conflict, a pandemic. I'm here to tell you demons are involved. And when demons get involved, they latch themselves onto brokenness. And this is exactly what happened in Pasadena. This mother and daughter, their ancestors. I mean, the mother was dramatically healed and set free from the powers of Hitler as her German ancestors participated in Hitler's party, the party that he was in the midst of, the Nazi party that honored the infamous ruler Adolf Hitler back in the 1930s and 40s. And there was demons that were present during the Holocaust. And you may be wondering if there's demons in your life from some major, maybe not, it may not be the Holocaust, but some other major event, some major evil event that took place. How would you know? This is where we recommend deeper deliverance. Deeper deliverance. And that's kind of what we specialize in. J. Bartlett Missions specializes in deeper deliverance. And I would encourage you, if you get a chance, go to jbartlettmissions.com. Go to the top of the page where it says Mission Extensions and punch in Extraordinary Jesus Program. I mean, this is a brand new ministry service that we have, we're offering to the world after more than 33 years of ministering to hurting, afflicted, and bound individuals and families. We have created a Jesus-focused system that will help you find deliverance, deep deliverance, healing, and reach, and, and will, of course, help you to reach your divine destiny. This is a one-of-a-kind program. New information never shared in this manner before for seven weeks in three different phases. I will afford you the opportunity to join an exclusive small group of individuals on a private number. On that call for one hour over a course of seven weeks now, we'll teach. And then on that seventh week, we will personally, confidentially minister to you. I would encourage you to get to jbartlandmissions.com and sign up for the Extraordinary Jesus Program today. Now, perhaps you're listening to this podcast and you're just, you're needing, you're needing help. You're lonely. You're sad, depressed. You're feeling afflicted and you're feeling your mind, your heart is being assaulted by the powers of evil. This is a good time to turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. In Psalm chapter 18, I will love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. 
I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. You want to be saved from your enemies? The demons from the Holocaust, demons from various wars that's that's taking place in prior generations that your ancestors were affected by in some in some manner, and that that evil has been passed down. The days are getting dark, and we're close to the return, the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's coming back soon. He's returning to this earth soon, and he's going to reign forevermore. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord God Almighty, and he will save you. He will rescue you from the powers of the Antichrist, the powers of the false prophet, the powers of Satan. Only Jesus and his blood, the power of his blood, the power of his resurrection. That's the only superior power you have on this earth to defeat these powers. Of evil. I want you to confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart, the Bible says, that God has raised Jesus from the dead and you shall be saved. I want you to say, Lord Jesus, right now, Lord Jesus, please forgive me. Cleanse me from my sins. I repent and turn from evil and I turn to the cross of Jesus Christ. Oh, God, help me in this late hour. Please, Lord Jesus, save me, rescue me. Cleanse me, purify me. I trust in you fully, and I promise to serve you for the rest of my life. Fill me with your love, your joy, your peace, your power. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now, if you prayed that simple prayer, I would encourage you to email me at j at jbartlettmissions.com and let me know so I can send you some free materials to help you in your walk with Jesus Christ. I just want you to know we are here to serve you. And I bless each and every one of you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This has been a production of the Good News Podcasting Network, based in sunny Southern California. Feel free to contact for more information on the Deliverance Podcast at jbartlettmissions.com or call us at 877-483-5519.